Welcome to Film Synopsis. Today movie title is Meander. That movie released on 2020. The film start with a woman is lying in the middle of the road when a car approaches. She stops and moves away before it can reach her. The car pulled up beside him and the man inside offered him a lift. They introduce each other as Lisa and Adam. He noticed that he had a cross tattooed on his arm. They talk, and Lisa reveals that her daughter Nina is dead and that today will be her ninth birthday. After a while, Lisa turns on the radio and hears a report from a man who killed the two. The report describes a man who has a cross tattoo on his right hand and Lisa realizes that it is Adam who breaks Lisa by throwing her against the dashboard. Lisa wakes up with a strange light on the wall in a small room and there is no way out. He has a strange instrument on his wrist that emits a yellow light. After a while, a door slide opens and reveals a narrow tunnel. Lisa crawls into the tunnel and the door closes behind her. The device on his wrist sounds an alarm and a timer flashes briefly, showing an 11 minute countdown. Lisa crawls through tunnels over various obstacles, such as an incredibly narrow path that she has to push, a platform that slowly begins to rise and almost crushes her with the ceiling, a perishable body blocking her path as she tries to move it. Broke down as soon as dot at one point the tunnel in front of him gets blocked and the device on his wrist turns red and the countdown starts at 60. Walls are suddenly lined with tubes that appear to be heating up and a portion of the wall behind it is opened. As soon as a glass barrier closes him, he rushes into space and the tunnel behind him is filled with fire. He goes through a section that is flooded with water, and an acid hole with only a thin edge on either side and finally hears a man's call. He finds himself trapped behind an obstacle. The man is trapped behind another obstacle in front of him and there is an open tunnel between them. The man is clearly losing his mind. His hair is long and he has a beard which indicates that he has been in this place for a long time. A portion of the wall opens into the tunnel between them and the fire tubes line the walls, both of their barriers rising at the same time and they run to safety. After a struggle, Lisa gains the upper hand and forcibly takes the man into the tunnel. The glass barrier went down and cut off his hand that was attached to the device. He sees a tattoo of a cross on his hand and realizes that it was Adam who was burned alive as soon as the fire tunnel was filled. He then passed out. She wakes up in the same safe space. A skull, attached to a mechanical tentacle, appears from the ceiling and heals her wounds. It then attaches itself to a part of her suit and Lisa experiences a flashback of Adam attacking her with a knife, her being stabbed and falling from the car, and a strange light in the sky. She leaves the safe place and takes Adam's hand with her. She examines it and sees that there are three marks a diamond, a cross and a diamond on the bottom of the device attached to it. Suddenly, a spinning blade appeared in front of him, forcing him to move quickly backwards. He briefly escaped into a tunnel above. A part opens above him, and a strange creature crawls into the tunnel with him and falls behind him. It starts to chase him and he crawls through a small part of the tunnel with which it cannot fit. It seems human but has burned badly, her eyes are white and shiny. It is missing an arm, indicating that it is Adam, somehow resurrected. She comes to a section with two tunnels to choose from. Remembering the markings on Adam's arm she tries to work out which to take. She chooses the left, and hears her daughter Nina's voice. Lisa follows the voice into a bright white room that shows images of her life, from herself as a baby looking up at her father, to seeing her daughter fall to her death from a window. 
The burned Adam creature appears above her and descends into the room and gives chase through a tunnel. At the end of the tunnel is bright cloudy sky, but the tunnel itself is lined with razor sharp wire. With no choice but to push forward to escape the creature, Lisa forces her way through the wires, badly injuring herself. Finally, she cannot move just feet from escape. Fire tubes appear from the walls, a safe space opens up which the creature rolls into, and Lisa closes her eyes and waits to die. Just before the flames hit, the floor opens up and she falls to safety. She wakes up in the same room she started in. Badly injured, she writes the symbols she had seen in blood on the wall for someone else to find after her. The skull appears and begins to heal her but she tells it she wants to die as she wipes the symbols from the wall, it is about to inject seemingly to euthanize her when Lisa notices she has only partially wiped the symbols. It was not a two diamonds and a cross, it was six arrows indicating directions to take. She tells the skull to stop and, rejuvenated, she sets out again. She easily passes the same obstacles as before, this time knowing how to overcome them. When she reaches the acid pit, she burns off the clasp of her wrist device and discovers her own set of markings underneath two crosses and a diamond telling her which directions to take. The creature begins to give chase again as Lisa reaches the split in the tunnel, she throws her removed device down one tunnel to lure the creature and takes the other. She comes across a strange biological door that leads into a womb-like room. She crawls inside and strange creatures possibly aliens can be seen moving on the other side of the walls of the womb. She leaves the womb by another exit and enters a similar room, where she notices her wrist device on the floor and the creature stuck in a door ahead of her. She slowly retrieves the device, but it sets off an alarm which rouses the creature and it gives chase again. They move into a tunnel that again lines the walls with fire tubes. Lisa escapes into the safe room and the glass falls down, but this time the fire doesn't come and the glass opens again and she is pushed back out into the tunnel with the creature. She wrestles with it, placing her foot on its head as the wall presses them both into the main tunnel. Its head is crushed against the wall, killing it. Lisa uses the marking on her wrist to find her way. She eventually finds her daughter Nina playing with a ball. She realizes her daughter is not real and tells her she has to leave another way. The daughter hugs her, telling her I'm proud of you, Lisa. We all are, then disappears. Lisa crawls into one final tunnel with three blades falling at faster intervals. The first is every four seconds and she makes it through. The second is every three, she gets by it. The third is every two which seems impossible. Just ahead is the exit with bright blue sky. Determined, she forces herself to try and almost makes it, but her foot is severed in half. She crawls to the exit, weak with loss of blood, and finds it is merely a screen with a video of the sky. She begins to cry as the tunnel fills with flame tubes. Suddenly, the ceiling opens up and she begins to float upward into a bright light. She wakes up outside on a rock under a bright blue sky. Her foot is healed. Nina appears before her. Lisa asks her if she has died. Nina tells Lisa that her body died many times, but she is safe now. Lisa asks her what she is supposed to do. Nina says live. The camera pans up, revealing that they are on a beautiful alien planet. Thanks for watching. Make sure subscribe and turn on bell notification for more videos. Make sure